Capricorns, I cannot wait to find out what's going on with you. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I am Michelle. This is my channel. Welcome if you are just arriving. Um, I don't put dates on my on my videos anymore because I realize that the readings are affecting people for months out. So no dates, but I do upload a Capricorn video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, please subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow and ring that bell so that you know when the videos that you're looking for upload. That would be awesome. Um, please like and share this video. That helps the channel out a lot too. This is an energy reading Capricorn. So sun, moon, rising, Capricorn, wherever Capricorn energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so. Um, whenever, whenever it comes to you, the message is right. Like, what is this? This is my the the uh the singing bowl stick that's what this is that's what I, that's what i cleanse the energy with all the time before i use so that you know this is how i cleanse cleanse your cards in my personal readings right here right now um but that's what i have is i have the stick in my hand i feel really goofy and bubbly right now for you guys especially for you guys because i just feel like there's a happiness coming that is going to make you feel like a giddy little girl like a giddy little a giddy little girl even if you're a even if you're a guy, a, a giddy school child, that's what I feel like. There's a there's a bit of happiness, but I, I don't like to say it too much because at the same time, I don't want you thinking or expecting. I just want you living. I want you living your life, and I think you have a lot on your plate right now, to be honest with you. There is a sense of you dealing with a lot, so that's good, and I'll tell you why. Because if it wasn't and you didn't have a lot to deal with, you would be overthinking when is this coming, when is this coming, and you might just break the opportunity, but you're not going to break this opportunity. This is the time that it's supposed to come for you. So Capricorn, there's always going to be an extended reading from this Oracle card reading that I do um, on YouTube, and that link is in the description box below. It's a near, it's a, it's a more personal reading. It's more articulated. It's full tarot card spread, and it includes a romance reading. So if you're curious about, uh, you know, seeing uh, an even bigger picture of this reading, please do join me in the extended. Let's get the cards going. Let's get the cards going. Okay. <sighs> Believe in yourself and take the lead. Uh, a sequential, a sequence, 50, 57 and 58. So something is adding up and something is falling into place. And you are planting seeds for the future. You have made decisions. You are planting seeds. I'll, I'll say this to you right now. You're planting seeds for a future that's so beautiful, so bright, you're going to need you're going to have to wear shades, but essentially Capricorn, you don't get it. You don't understand it because right now you're stuck in the arduous work of planting the seeds. You're stuck in the arduous work of taking the risk and making changes. And I'm telling you, your benefits and your luck is going to come from pathways that you did not expect from doing things that you've never done before, um, from trying things, accepting new jobs that you, you didn't think you had experience in. It's, it's not going to come from the same conduits we all need a change we've all been sort of pushed to see the pain and the suffering that old things have caused us we've been through the ringer come Pi through through pisces season it's to show us why do you keep doing the same things this is where it leads we're all in it for change and i think capricorn this is a big change coming for you saturn your ruling planet is moving into aquarius this is a set a different sensibility than it is when it's in its home sign of Capricorn. So um, as Saturn moves into, moves into Aquarius, it becomes more broad-minded. It becomes more eccentric-minded. The ideas that spring into its head or where it feels comfortable, uh, like, like luck is gained through a more broad, bro like a broader perspective or more outlandish things. So understand that this is the mentality that your mentality that you're moving into is newness, is trying things that you may not have felt comfortable with before. And that's where your abundance is going to come in. So get ready to plant those seeds and get ready to believe in yourself, your sense of self, because this is your crowning energy Capricorn, your sense of self is coming back this week. You're sensing a confidence that you haven't felt, even if you're just in the 
core planting stages and there is no fruit to there is no trees to bloom fruit to eat yet it doesn't matter you have a sense of the future you have a sense of i have a future and i matter back in your life this is really good this is a sense of you're being tapped oh sometimes life stings but guess what it's in reverse so you've done swatted this fly the stinging part is over. You're healing. It's it's true. This is almost like infection, right? Think about world infection, uh, something, a, a buzz, a buzz, but it's dying down. There's a sense of um, what you think you lacked or what you were suffering from, what was hurting you, those things that were hurting you, those things that were scaring you, those things that were bugging you are coming to an end. This is an energy of six plus four, um, 64, so that's 10. So there's a conclusion here. It's it's a finality. It's, it's finishing up. This could also be getting stung, <laughs> getting stung by something, getting stung um, and actually becoming an example for some reason. I know that sounds weird. Um, Hmm. Oh no, that was supposed to come out. Stop. There you go. Spirit has your back. If you fall, if you, if something happens and you fall ill, there's destiny behind it. There's a sense of spirits got your back. Spirits taking care of you. There's a reason why all of this hurt and pain came and you're about to see why. Don't, don't worry. Two plus three is the energy of five. There's a change here. There's Capricorn energy. What is this? There, oh, I, there's so much coming out. Oh my God. Um, there's a shift. There's a shift. Saturn is making its shift. Whatever was bugging you, whatever was this painful situation, whatever was this karma coming around, karma is starting to shift. There's a lot of earth energy. There's a lot of powerful energy. There's a lot of you energy coming through. So it's almost like you're finding yourself in different places. You're finding yourself again in different places. Oh, reconnection. Reconnection to spirit. Finding your faith. Finding a purpose, finding a reason, letting it shine. This is the energy of 10 too. What is it that you have to say? Say what you need to say. Being in the spotlight or spotlighting, finally identifying which direction that you want to go. Um, getting a new chance on life because this is scorpionic energy. The energy of transcendence and rebirth or resurrection. Um, Phoenix energy. There's a sense of resurrection here. Rising out of the ashes to shine your light on something that is important. I also, this is, you could be taking the lead. You could be the one, hold on. Um, oh, wow. You could be the one that is broadcasting or demonstrating or showing or uh, leading or leading taking a lead and being an example from what you have suffered is 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 becoming an example for other people to guide them through difficult situations which is how you're using your cardinal energy in this new aquarius energy a sense of um of sense of applying what you've learned to help other people nothing is wasted something is coming to a head this is my trash uh finding treasure in the trash heap at card um, this is finding ways you've been scrounging you've been like a scavenger recently. Um, this is uh, your central energy. You've been like a, uh, a scavenger recently. You've been just picking things um, up, uh, putting things together where you could taking where you taking them where you could get them finding resources, um, like pulling it out of your you know what type of energy. Um, um, but you know what it has it has sort of humbled you. And made you reevaluate what you see the world as and what you want in your life. It's reestablished your priorities and made your sort of brain rebalance from all the pain. There was some pain here, real suffering in your life, but the the suffering led to okay, I gotta I gotta get this done. I gotta work through this. I've just gotta get it. I've just gotta figure it out and fix it. And it was in that energy that you started to find different areas of yourself, access areas of yourself that you would have never accessed if you weren't put through this process. I know, a way, a way, to, way to teach me a new lesson, but we know the universe gives us what we need to learn the lessons it needs us to know. Um, 
watch and wait. This is Pisces energy, but it's flipped upside down. Something was on pause, but now it's not anymore. Something is starting to take motion and become alive. It's almost like uh, Pisces season has gotten a rocket up. It's you know what, a sense of this energy, this emotional energy, this contemplative energy, this feeling, this being over emotional, now having exhausted itself and moving forward, a sense of, um, um, emotions coming back into balance or things taking off. You don't have to wait for them anymore. You're not waiting. You're not waiting. You're not waiting. This is Piscean energy. Maybe you're not waiting for a Pisces anymore. A uh, sense of being able to move on or them finally being able to um, come forth. Uh, an energy of um, something that was stalled now moving forward. Uh, and it is something that is more emotional because this is Pisces energy. Also psychic, maybe a psychic connection of some sort. Maybe you felt this was coming, even though it felt like it was gone and it was uh, finished. There's an energy of you knew it never was. Five plus three equals eight. Divine timing. This is the time. This is the time for things to move forward that you thought were over with, that you thought were dead. And, you know, you became really good at, at learning how to live off the dead things, right? Whether it was the memories or just resources that you had that you had to salvage, you know, you became really, really good at it. And because you became really good at it, it's almost spirit was like, okay, now they're ready for this abundance. There's major breakthroughs happening this week. Uh, Scorpio, it was the same thing. Um, dream the world into being. Yeah, a sense of being uh, 8 plus 3, so 11, awakening. Awakening to the fact that even with the skeletons in your closet, you can see the skeleton, kind of the skeleton head behind him, looking in the past, those zombies that haunt us from the past, those things that want to pull us back and pull us down. It's almost like you're airing out your closet. You're spreading them wide open and you're letting the skeletons out. And skeletons, they like literally turn to ash. They turn to dust when you expose them to air, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're airing out your closets. You're cleaning them out and you're thinking about the future. And even if it means facing some serious demons, Capricorn, you don't care. You're moving forward. This is a sense of the past, of looking, looking the past, having once distracted you because you were looking back. You're not looking back anymore. Learning from the past. Learning from all that contemplation of all of this hardship being in your past and now being able to look to the future, especially with that um, Piscean energy being in reverse. There's no stagnation. There's no dreaming. You're not lost in your fantasies anymore. And whatever it is, it could have been gone from concept, like a fantasy, to it could have just gone from concept or fantasy and been manifested now into reality. Oh, the miracles are endless. So, uh, you're being selected. There's opportunities coming in for you for resources, for abundance, and for opportunities. This is the energy of five plus one is six. Partnership coming together like the major arcana six is the lovers. This is also accompanied by Gemini energy. Four plus one is the energy of five. There's, there's a change to your love affairs. There's a change to um, the way people are treating you and the opportunities that you have. I feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunities in love and romance coming in. But there's also going to be a lot of opportunities in all other kinds of abundance that you have been hailing down those taxis and they've been rushing by you. And now about like 10 taxi cabs are all going to rush up to you at once. I guarantee you. <laughs> My puppy's eating things. so I, I got to watch her. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini or you could just be dealing with a uh, person to person communications, like one on one, actually being a, like hearing, hearing, I love you. Um, hearing, uh, hearing somebody's voice that you haven't heard in a long time, like feeling that energy of, of them, like being able to hear them again. It's just your heart opening up and sort of soaring, to be honest with you. This is love is all around. So you could have more than one option because there's lots of abundance pouring in, but this could also be job offers and job opportunities pouring in, abundance pouring in. What is it that you care about and that you've been focused on and that you were eating dead carcass for to survive? Well, guess what? You're about to eat some filet mignon, baby. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what's coming in. 
still getting your grounding energy. Ooh, and once again, double, are you dealing with Geminis? Double Gemini energy. Things are coming into play. Things are trying to balance themselves out and they're picking up, they're speeding up. So if you're getting a love interest or you're having, whatever you were waiting for, whatever was on stall, now all of a sudden everybody's singing your praises and you're about to rush forward. Things are coming together. Things that didn't add up. Yes, you've been robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yes, you've been stuck between a rock and a hard place. But guess what? All of those things that you've been doing to survive are coming together like the um, the strands on like a, 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 sail, a, a, a sailboat rope and they're going to make something that's strong and unbreakable. Saying I love you are not the words I want to hear from you. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be more than words. It really is. Uh, brown bear, take time out. You're being protected. Something is coming to a head. Something that you've been, uh, you're being protected. This is spirit coming in and being your mama bear. This is spirit energy, protective energy. It's got your back. Anything that was hurting you, anything that was harming you, it's coming in and it's ripping it apart be fearless and bold this is Aries energy because you're taking care of yourself because you're focused on what is in front of you and not what is behind you you are pulling the future in front of you, you are so far in front Capricorn now you're pulling the future you're, you're you're pulling the future along this is having confidence in yourself and being not being afraid of taking those opportunities realizing that these are blessings even if I'm not secure in them even if I they're new to me I'm gonna say yes to them and just leap into them and I'm gonna you're not even thinking about what you're gonna find in the future you're just thinking about keeping on moving forward it's all about progress right now Capricorn and you're making major progress I'm gonna finish the shuffle to see if there's any other energies that want to come out for you Capricorn Capricorn now right now if you want to go to the extended you can go now or hold on because I'm going to flip the, flip the camera so we can review the cards so here we go big reading and it's all about progress it's all about there was emotions that were holding you back there was something that was holding you down and guess what it's not holding you down anymore you're looking those emotions into the eye it's almost like you're confronting something that was a very emotional from the past so that you're able to you're able to get over it. You're able to, and it, you're able to get over it and move on from it, or it could be moving on with you. There's progress here. It's something that was hurting you and making you suffer. Suddenly, all of a sudden, like spirit came in, swooped in, whoa, defended you. Um, it's like you're you're finally able to see the light now. You're finally able to see the. Uh, like the light at the end of the tunnel um, you're finally being heard and being respected you're you're almost getting comfortable in a very uncomfortable situation and with that comfort is coming it's like all those doors are opening it's like it's like when you eased up your life just got so much easier a sense of not pushing so hard is what is breaking through all those walls that were making you feel suffocated there is suffering here there was pain there was you really got stung and you got stung bad you could be ill you could be sick there is a sense of you using that sickness that illness using that pain and sorrow as a way to help others and show the others guide them through so whatever you're suffering from whether it be mental physical spiritual emotional there is a sense of you turning that into progress you turning that into something that then aid aids other people and in doing that finding that treasure in that trash heap you are literally breaking through this karma and like literally able to just heal it able to just let it go there's old hurts that are just that are that are um that are healing healing up I know I'm stumbling over my words. Um, it could very well have to do a little bit, something to do with um, miracles and blessings and abundance coming in with love. Offers coming in, finally people uh, making the offers to you that you need, hearing the words that you want to hear, hearing the words that you need to hear, um, and, and rushing through. It's like all of a sudden, you go from like being stalled on the side of the road to be like being like rocket fuel type of energy. And believe me, Take the risk, even if it is a little risky, which it could be with this Gemini energy. Even if it's a little bit risky, take it because you're protected. 
there's a sense of self that is so strong now you could you have the a strength to make choices that you wouldn't have made in the past why because if you could survive what you've survived there's you don't fear it you don't really fear anything anymore it's like you're you you don't you no longer fear fear so there you're definitely making progress because of um what because of those because of what you've survived right it's almost like survivors um you've heard of survivor's guilt right it's not survivor's guilt it's survivor's um like um um insight type of thing it's like if i can survive what i've been through then um then this risk doesn't seem as risky to me anymore because I know I can survive anything and it's really going to open up doors for you Capricorn that would not have been opened up or that you would not have taken seriously in the past I'm going to extend this reading I'm going to keep going on with the reading dig a little bit more into the potential love relationships of course um the extended link is below Capricorn I hope to see you over there